on my way. I should be home this afternoon, but I've missed you so much. See you later. Drive safely. I need ambulance. Today, the residents of Brookhaven are gathering at the proposed landfill site to protest against a project they believe threatens both the environment and public health. The mayor has yet to release an official statement. We will keep you updated as the situation unfolds. I know he's there. Silence him. I've got enough problems already. How's it going, losers? Buzz off. Lily, I talked to Grandpa about the Crowley family. He told me that Mr. Anders, who owns the antique shop, has loads of information about Brookhaven. He's an old friend of Grandpa's. We have to check it out. Definitely. Good morning, Lily. Please grab your things and come with me. Is something wrong? Lily, your mum was in an accident. What? How is she? She's in the hospital. We'll head there right now. Doctor, how's my mom? Her condition is stable, but we need to run a few more tests. Lily, I'll stay to take care of you both. Don't worry. Thank you, Auntie. Lily, how are you? Dad, I'm worried about Mom. She'll be all right. I spoke with the doctor. I'm glad Aunt Martha will stay with us. I'll try to come back as soon as I can. Take care, honey. Bye, Dad. Look at this, Lily. The Hartmans took over all the Crowley lands. That's intriguing. I think the Hartman family is hiding even bigger secrets. Mr. Anders, do you have anything else on the Crowley history? Unfortunately, no. Someone went to great lengths to make sure those documents are missing. But I have a friend in Linton who might dig up something for you. We need to check it out. Thanks, Mr. Anders. I'll wait for your call. We're here at the proposed landfill in Brookhaven, where locals have gathered to voice their opposition to the project. Behind me, you can see the machinery ready to start, though for now they remain idle. The atmosphere is tense and city officials have yet to respond. The protesters are determined to stay until they're heard. We'll continue to update you live. I found something that will interest you. Hartman. Oh, he was a cunning man, no doubt. After the witch trials, he used the chaos to his advantage. The Crowleys thought they held all the power, but Hartman had other plans. What exactly did he do? He betrayed Crowley. He used secret agreements that Crowley signed in desperation, not realizing Hartman was plotting behind his back. Hartman stirred up anger among the townsfolk, convincing them the Crowleys were exploiting their labor and resources. The people sided with him. And what happened next? The Crowleys perished in a fire. Hartman took it all, homes, lands, influence. That's how he became the most powerful man in Brookhaven. That's the tragic end of that betrayal. Thank you, Mr. Anders. That clears up a lot.